Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to download a file from a website using your C Sharp Windows Form application. So it's very simple to write a code to download a file from a website and uh, let's see how can we do it. So here I have a text box and a button. In this text box, I'm going to give the URL of the file or URL of the website from which I want to download the file. And this button, when I click, it should download the file to my designated folder. So just take this text box and a button from the toolbox and arrange it like this. And I have named this text box as text box underscore URL. And just you can rename or re give a new text to this button. Once you have done with that, just take do these two things, just click your button and double click it. And then we reach to the code of this section. And here, first of all, we are going to add one new using directive. So write using system.net because we are going to use internet directory or internet library. And after that, go here and write web client wc is equal to new web client and then in this button click event we are going to write our code to download a file but first of all we need to write one more function so just go below this button click function and just we will make a new function which is very small so you don't need to write a very big code for that. So write private, sorry, private void file download complete and just close the function and in here in these bracket we will pass two arguments one is object sender comma async completed event args e and inside our function we will just show the message that our file download is completed so write message box dot show and we will write download completed so this is the function and now in this button click event we are going to write our code so first of all just copy this web client object here and paste it here dot download file completed and then plus equal to and once again we write here new async completed event handler and just close this and in here we will give the argument this function as argument so just copy this file download complete function and pass it here okay so this is done and now what we are going to do is in the next line we are we declare the URL 
object so we are right we will write uri and we are going to uh, download a image that's why i will give the object name as image image url is equal to new uri and in the bracket we are going to pass the url from which we don't want to download the file so we are going to paste our url in this in this text box so just copy the name of this text box go to your code and in this bracket pass this text box name as argument dot text and in the last line we will write wc dot download file async and then we will pass the argument in this function as first argument will be the url so just copy this url or uri object here comma the second argument will be the string or the name of the file you want to uh, download and give it to give it give that file a name so for example i am downloading the image so i will give my file the name my downloaded image.png so this is the name you can give any name here to the file and now our code is complete i think so just write this and make this function and write these three lines and you are done and where this file will be downloaded so this will be downloaded wherever your binary file or the executable file for this program is there so just go to your solution explorer just right click it and click open folder in windows explorer and go to bin and debug and you can see here there is no png or image file right now but after i run the program there will be a file called my downloaded image.png here so let me just run the program first and the program is running and i want to give the path from the, my website and i want to download this image from my own website the website name is www.programmingknowledge.org and i will copy the link of this image file go to my program i will open this folder also so you can see the file being downloaded I will copy the URL here in the text box and I will click this download button and just see in this folder if the new file comes or not. So I would download, I click download button and it shows me download completed and you can see a new file called my downloaded image comes here. And when you click this image you will be able to see that it's the same image that i have downloaded so in this way you can download a file it can be any file type it can be pdf jpg text file or any other file format which can be downloaded you can download it from this code so i hope you have learned something new this time please keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now